For a long time, it was difficult to create sub collections in Shopify, in the old Shopify that is. It's gotten a lot easier in Shopify 2.0. And I think that now is the perfect time to jump on this opportunity and to actually create sub collections and main collection pages in your Shopify store. There are some benefits to doing this, mainly SEO. So Google's algorithm likes to see clusters of content right? It likes to see groupings of content. So whether it's like blog categories and then blog posts in that category for you as a store owner, it's products and then categories of products and then more general parent categories of products. So the reason that it was difficult in the old Shopify to create sub collections is because in Shopify, we don't have really any concept of sub collections. Uh, all collections are kind of the same level. They're all equal. So it was kind of difficult to do. You could, of course, like on turbo theme, uh, you could have a mega menu with headings and under those headings, you could list your collections. And so that kind of gives that effect of having sub collections, right? But you still, you didn't have a page for this parent collection. The parent collection on this theme, for example, just lists products. It does not list uh, actual sub collections. And if you wanted to create sub collections like this on an older Shopify theme, there were different tricky ways to do it in various themes. Sometimes you would create a navigation list as in the same thing that you would do for a menu. And then some themes let you output those navigation lists as sub collections on a page on other themes, you had to copy and paste code to do that. Anyway, all of that is in the past now, if you're on Shopify 2.0, because nowadays, all you have to do is create a new template and then add a section to that template. And then you can duplicate your template for every main collection page that you want to create. If that sounds a bit confusing, I'm going to walk you through it right now. So I'm going to go off camera right now and I'll show you how it works. All right, guys, here we are in my development store. And the first thing that I want to clarify uh, that I think is quite important is that there is a default collection listing page in Shopify. Uh, you can access it by going to your Shopify URL and then slash collections. This is one of the default pages in Shopify. You cannot delete it. Uh, you cannot change this URL. The slash collections page lists all your collections and it will always be there. You can edit that page by choosing the collections list template and your theme might have some settings that you can change on this page. So what I talk about when I say sub collections is not this page. What I'm talking about is say having a boys collection, right? And inside that collection to have boys pants, boys shirts and boys shorts, right? And we don't want to display girls collections or any other collections. Another thing that I just want to remind you of is that there is no such thing as different collection levels in Shopify. There is no actual concept of sub collections. All collections are the same. So when you're creating your collections and your sub collections, you're just going to create them as regular collections. So I'm going to be using boys as my parent collection. And then inside the boys collection, there's going to be boys shorts, pants and shirts. They're all just regular collections. So just create your collections as you would normally. And then we can move on to the next part. So now we're ready to create the main collection page, which is going to contain our sub collections. So the parent page, for me, it's going to be the boys collection that I showed you earlier. So we're going to enter the theme editor using the template selector, we're going to go to collections and then select the default collection. You can ignore this, you probably won't have anything here. Uh, but let's just go to the default collection template. As you can see, it's showing um, boys collection for me, which is just listing products in that collection, but I want it to list sub collections. If you don't see the collection that you want to be working on, you can change that here by clicking change and then preview a different collection. But just keep in mind that this is a preview of a collection, but you're still editing the default collection currently. So what we're going to do is again, go into collections and now click create template. I'm going to call it boys collection. You don't have to name it like this, but it's just that if you go 
like this with spaces and capitals, it's going to automatically turn it into this uh, kind of hyphenated format anyway. So I just use that straight away. So let's create a boys collection template. So now we're editing the boys collection template. In case you're still previewing a different collection, I recommend changing it to the one that you want just so that it's not confusing. And now we can go ahead and change what sections we want to show on this template. By default, we have this collection banner, which would show like the collection image, the collection description, if you have one, and it would just be here like text and image, we can hide that. We can't remove this section completely, but we can hide it if you don't want it. Um, I recommend just adding a section now for a collection list. I'm using dawn theme, and it's got this collection list section. But any theme that you're using will have some kind of section that lists collections. And because we now have sections everywhere in Shopify 2.0, you can add whatever section you want and use that to display your collections. So I'm going to select my boys pants collection, uh, you know, my shorts and shorts collection. And there we have the basic layout of a main collection page, which is displaying sub collections. Uh, we can change this to be like boys clothing. So this heading is like that. We can also make a much nicer looking layout by adding, for example, a rich text section at the top here. And we can say something like browse boys collections. And so then we see the boys collections and then we have the products. Now, of course, you can hide this product grid if you just want it to be, um, and you can hide this collection banner, if you just want this to be a sub collection page, right, just listing these collections. But I don't recommend this. The thing is that this is good for SEO, you can actually reduce the amount of products that are visible on this page. So I have 12. If you want there to be less, you can make eight. Uh, so it's just kind of a preview of all boys products, and you have your sub collections. But the issue with hiding it entirely is that this isn't as good for SEO, Google's algorithm likes to see groupings of products on pages. So now that we've created this page, the URL is going to be slash collections slash boys, Google will see that we have on this page, boys pants, boys shirts and boys shorts, but plus it could also see a grouping of products and that would make this page more filled with content and stronger. Now the last thing that you need to do is to actually apply this template to the boys collection. So remember that we just created this template and we're previewing it currently on the boys collection, but we can preview it on any collection and it will be the same. So we've just created a template. This template needs to be applied somewhere. Uh, and that's done through the collections page. So when you go into any collection, you can select the template that is used, and you will now see boys collection appears here. So you can select boys collection, hit save. And now when we view this collection, you will see that it has the custom template that we created. The great thing about these templates in Shopify 2.0 is that you can duplicate them. So if I wanted to create the same thing, but for girls, so I want to do a girls collection, I would create a template and then I can base it on boys collection, I would name it girls collection, create the template, and it would already have all the sections set up. So I am I can preview that on well, I actually don't have a girls parent collection yet. Um, but I can preview that on any collection. And see now it's showing different products, but it's the same text content. And that's because we added that content through the editor through the template editor, right? So we just need to change this kind of stuff. We just need to change the headings here. And that's all really. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to delete a template if you've accidentally created too many templates, or you've maybe simply made an error in spelling or named it somehow that you don't want it to be named. As you can see, there's no delete button here, and you can't like right click or anything. Uh, so you actually need to delete the code that is generated for each of these. It's just a new file is generated every time you create a template. And you just need to find that file and delete it. So we're just going to go edit code to open the code editor. 
and then we're going to search for the name of that collection that we created. So girls collection, it will be named exactly the same, except it will be collection dot, and then girls collection dot JSON, okay, dot JSON, and not uh, dot liquid, make sure that you do not delete any files that end in dot liquid. Okay, so girls collection, and we can simply delete the file. And then next time when you refresh the theme editor, you will no longer see the girls collection template. There we go. Guys, I'm starting a whole new series now on the new features and possibilities of Shopify 2.0. So if you're interested in that, check out the video that is on the screen right now, as well as the playlist called Shopify 2.0, which you'll find on my channel. That's all for today. See you next time.